Was it a murder in a blue world, or a pink world, or a yellow world, or who knows? Let's find out. Hey everybody, this week's Take 2 review is Murder in a Blue World uh, by Eloy de Iglesias. Uh, I've done at least one, uh, one uh, review of another one of his movies, Cannibal Man. Uh, on here before. He's a Spanish director. Um, this uh, this movie is 50 years old. Or will, will be 51, I guess. The, uh, the after tomorrow. Because <laughs> it's from 1973. It's, it's an odd little movie. It's about this nurse and she want, really wants to help people. But she has a secret um uh, and you know she like I said she really likes to help people a at her job but on you know her time off on the weekends and stuff she likes t to seduce <laughs> younger men uh and bring them into her home and uh murder them <laughs> and uh she kind of does a different uh, um, disguise with each, uh, you know, and, and different ways to get them there. Uh, so it's kind of different than your normal, uh, you know, male killer. You know, we have a, a lot of male dominated uh, killers and a lot of stuff. Um, this director, though, he's in a lot of ways, like I've got probably four or five, maybe six of his movies. I've got some other movies of his that I need to finish uh, watching like a set that they all kind of go together in the three movies. And when I bought that set, uh, one of the movies was put in their double, so I didn't get one of those movies, and that kind of derailed that review and never had the time to actually go back and watch those uh, but th those movies were very progressive uh, like gay movies for their time like you know the 70s uh, just really progressive really uh, cutting edge for that time uh, but uh, this movie is progressive in the you know the the main killer's a woman. Uh, but you also have <laughs> this group that's kind of like Alex and his droogs in um, Clockwork Orange. And they even mention the Clockwork Orange when they're talking about this group of uh, uh, this uh, gang that's going around terrorizing the town. So, you know, at first, until you see her kill someone, you think that those guys are the ones killing someone but uh one of those guys he gets in a fight with his his brothers his friends you know and he leaves them but he notices one day when he's just kind of farting around by himself that uh he sees this woman throw a body in the river <laughs> and he finds out her secret and he kind of uh you know goes uh, and, uh confronts her about it but doesn't really do anything about it there's also some side plots about the hospital she works at and this doctor that she kind of has a thing for but for me those really are just kind of like uh just white noise uh they really didn't interest me that much but her you know seduction and the other total subplot with the uh, Clockwork Orangeness, that that uh, that entertained me. Uh, is it a great movie? I like Cannibal Man much much better. Uh, if I had to give this one a number score, I mean it's not terrible. I would give it like a five point five or maybe a six. It's watchable. If I didn't want to support the company that put this out, I may not have purchased it for the price that I did. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's worth a watch, at least, if you say it's on some streamer to watch. 
uh, or if he's hit for decent price. But I enjoyed it though. It, it's just not something I would take to share with friends. Uh, anyways, I'll try to watch something else that I've not opened out of my collection because I've got so many uh, that I just never had time to. Uh, if it wasn't for new things coming out, I would just sit here and record about three or four hundred videos and, and not have to do one of these live again for a long time. But that, that takes a lot of fun out of it. I mean, sometimes there's something new that comes out and you just want to talk about it. Or like a Netflix movie or Amazon Prime or any of those. Sometimes, most of that stuff's crap, but sometimes you're like, wow. And you want to talk about it. And uh, I think I may rewatch the uh, oh, the one with uh, Julia Roberts on Netflix and do a review on that because that, that was pretty good for a Netflix movie. Uh, but I just, you know, had a different idea of something to do a review of that week. But I may do a review of that again. Well, again. Uh, next week. Anyways, we will see you all next time.